What's up guys, Tao here. Um, a few weeks ago I did a video regarding on different type of Ethernet cable and the difference between them. Uh, if you haven't checked out the video, please click on the link above me and then click on the like and the subscribe button. Now, um, in that video I had a few cable uh, has been cut. Uh, this is one of them. This is the cut 7 cable. Um, I was thinking instead of uh, thrown away because there's one end has been cut. Uh, instead of a thrown away, I might just, you know, uh, have a, a good use out of it. So I got one of those um, CAT 6A Keystone Modular socket. So I'm going to connect this cable to there. So I have a extension cable instead of just throwing a window. Okay, let's do this. Right. Let's have a closer look at the uh, modular keystone. Uh, it says 6A. Now, because this is modular, so it's fairly straightforward uh, to install. Uh, you can see there are different color coding, um, so that will co correspond um, to the cable, which you see here. Now, before we start, um, let me just quickly explain something. Uh, you probably can see there are different color of the label and also there are different numbers and also there are A and B letters in there. There are two different the, uh, cabling standards. Uh, one is uh, T568A and T568B. Uh, most of the cabling connection uh, will be the B, which is uh, 568B. Uh, only occasional certain organization they use the uh, T568A. It doesn't really matter which way you connect or which, um, which uh, standard you use. As long as you use the same standard as the terminal, you will not have any problems. Uh, if you use two different standards, uh, A will not work. So just be careful about this. Uh, now this particular cable it used the T568B um, you may be wondering why I know it um, if you look closely here the first pin uh, is from here that's orange that's blue that's green and brown so this is the T568B uh, cabling standard. So therefore we're going to use the same, uh, same cabling on this socket. Now the first thing we need to do is we will need to strip the, the shell. Now one thing I probably will have to just measure roughly the length. So just in case I got too much. So be here. And that's it. So here's what's inside. Um, this is the shooting. So what we do. Now there are two ways of doing this. Here is the second part. You can you can wiring uh, onto this bit first, and uh, insert into this second, or you can put a wiring in there first and the coupling the second bit. Um, but regardless, regardless of what you do, here are the. Uh, cabling holes here so make sure the cables go through the holes it depends on which standard of cabling you're gonna you're gonna use uh, so for this instance we are gonna be doing the B standard so let me see uh, brown is brown so this will be brown this will be orange. Okay, 
now we're gonna cut off the uh, wires there so we're gonna use the wire cutter I will try to link all the tools uh, down the description so in case you do want to purchase uh, just make it, make it easy for you guys okay nice trim right now uh, just insert this bit into that bit according to the color coding so here's the brown there and here's the brown there so what we're gonna do okay uh, make sure it's very very tight so the connection is is tight so now let me just trim this a little bit now if you do cut the wiring off so be very careful they're very very small so try not to hurt yourself and make sure they are um, disposed properly otherwise they could be everywhere on the table to make sure this thing is fit properly uh, use pliers and um, just, just uh, uh, make sure this top and bottom is firmly connected okay and next I'm gonna use um, zip tie so the purpose of zip tie is to make sure the end bit is holding the cable um, firmly okay down right here's the extension cable that's it guys this is the end of the video uh, here is the extension cable I just made uh, if any of you guys are interested in the product I use in this video please check out the description I will put a link down there um, if you guys did learn something from this video please give a thumbs up and click on the subscribe uh, if you didn't like it uh, you know what to do um, hopefully uh, see you in the next video bye bye